Heyo, Omnidogs and Omni Kittens, it's Omnidog from Omnidog's Vault here with another root beer review of fun comics that I enjoyed and want to pass them along to you. But first, some Frost Top, the delightful root beer that I enjoy. Mmm. Foamy goodness. I need to get a shirt with that written on it. So, what books were great? I'll tell you exactly what books were great. First, let's start out with Heathen. This is about Adis, who's a Viking and a warrior and an outcast from her family or her tribe. It is written by Natasha Alterici and drawn fabulously by Rachel Deering. Here's some of the artwork, first of all. And... My understand it's from Vault Comics. This is a trade paperback, but I understand that Vault Comics floppies have a very interesting smell. That's what I've heard. I have no idea. The next time I go into an LCS, I'm going to find some Vault Comics and I'm going to give them a whiff. And I'll probably be taken off to jail after that. But this book is really well done. She has all kinds of adventures. She saves a Valkyrie from excuse me the root beer coming back on me uh, she saves a um, an immortal valkyrie from uh, a hilltop set on fire and she gets some favors for that she also manages to get a talking horse that is her guide and it deals with all kinds of interesting magic and viking adventure battling demons and uh, fantastic monsters this book has it all it is fun it is well written well plotted well drawn and it's part of an ongoing so i can't wait to get the next trade of this i can't say enough about heathen uh this book is uh about badass kick-ass women who have um the power to do many great things and Adis believes in herself and she wants to get revenge on the god king Odin for what he did and I'm not going to tell you what he did because I don't want to give too much away but after she's been outcast she takes care of herself saves the Valkyrie and then goes on to uh, several different adventures which are really fun and really epic and interesting uh, let's see if I can show you some more of this great art. Yeah, I 10 out of 10 root beers for Heathen. I highly, highly recommend it. Not expensive. $16 from Image. It is money well worth it. You will dig it, and you will um, thank me. I This is almost a guarantee that you'll like it. Because it's ass-kicking women doing ass-kicking things in an exciting and innovative way. So I really, really dug Heathen. The next book, by day he's a hot dog cart vendor in New York City. By night he reads comics. That's Gabriel Alicia. And he and Kemi Jacob have been begging me to read Paul Jenkins' Sidekick. Not to be confused with another book called Sidekicks, which I know nothing about, but Paul Jenkins' Sidekick. And <laughs> this book is a hoot and a half. And it is about a kid who's a pizza delivery guy by day to make ends meet because being a sidekick doesn't really pay very much money. And he wants to get a new gig as somebody else's sidekick because he's not into the superhero sidekick that he is and he accidentally ends up being sidekicks to like five other superheroes and mayhem ensues and it's really quite funny with an excellent villain that is bent on i don't even remember what he wants so much i can't remember it's funny though it is a really funny i had no idea paul jenkins uh was such a, a comedy writer this book has a cartoon um, style, which befits it. It fits right in. A lot of times I don't like cartoon style books, but for a funny book like this, it really works. I highly recommend Paul Jenkins' Sidekicks. 
sorry, sidekick, and you will thank me for eating this book. It is really charming, really funny. It's got a hobo superhero. Um, it's got a Wonder Woman analog. It's got a, um, a Superman analog. It's got a rapper. It's got a, a Bruce Wayne, Batman type of character who kind of has unusual... Um, he has unusual tastes in young men say and i think it's really well done i just got a kick out of this book it is really fun and the sidekick himself just the way he deals with all his problems by being sidekick to so many people and he's the only one that actually seems to understand that there's a villain that's really trying to cause mayhem and he can't seem to make all the other superheroes get it and he's the only one that seems to get it. He and the hobo superhero. So I w highly, highly recommend Paul Jenkins' sidekick. Um, here's a good book that I read. This was recommended to me by Faria, my friend Faria. So it's a Faria recommendation. And it is a good book for those of you that like Gamora. Especially, it's kind of like a set in the Marvel Cinematic Universe a little bit. She has uh, Nebula as a sister. Thanos, of course, is her sort of adopted father. The first thing that jumps out of you is the amazing artwork by Chichetto. It's written by Nicole Perlman, and it's written extremely well. And Gamora is out to... Um, in, in this book, the Badoon have wiped out her uh, race. And she's out to get rid of all the Badoon she can, including the royal family, so that they can't produce any more rulers. But it turns out there is an extra Badoon hanging around, and she just happens to be on a planet that's on the edge of a black hole that is doomed to distinct in doomed to extinction and Gamora takes it upon herself to fly there to try and rid herself of the last Badoon and it's about her adventures that happen from there the artwork as I say is spectacular and Gamora ends up finding out a little bit more about herself she is the universe's most deadly assassin but she um she does find out a little bit about herself has some unlikely alliances along the way and I, I got a big kick out of this book. This book is really well done and has a lot of snappy dialogue, really well written. It's uh, f five issues and done, so it's not expensive. It is, um, it's, one of, it's one of those one and done books, and those are great because a lot of times you get uh, books that I'm about to come upon, well, like Heathen, which I love, but... It's an ongoing series. This isn't an ongoing. It's you get the whole thing. You can finish this in about 45 minutes. Really fun. I dug Gamora to the max, and I'm really glad it got a recommendation from one of the fangirls Assemble herself. They're also known as the Bookshelf Bombshells. But fangirls Assemble, they know what they're talking about, and this is a good book. Gamora. I want Mora a Gamora. And finally, for this root beer review, hang on, I'm getting a little dry. Hold on, one second. Just, just, just wait a second. Okay, thanks. I won't have a Bill O'Reilly meltdown now. This was recommended by my good friends Mel and Anita Schumann. Big Man Plans by Eric Powell and Tim Weish with art by the fabulous Eric Powell. He is a great writer and a great, great artist. It's about a little person who's out to get revenge. Or as he says on the back page, I'm here to rage and get respect. Because it, in, he was of course abused as a young lad and as a person his whole life. And he wants to go back and get revenge. He gets revenge on just about anybody that crosses him at a certain point. And I do have to say, this is a brutal book. Extremely violent. There's a lot of stuff that I can't show you. I love this panel right here, though. 
there's a lot of stuff that I cannot show you because it's so brutal. And no, I don't really feel like showing you that. I can show you this. The art is great. And the story is really great. It's uh, really well done. And it is... But it is brutal. I have to tell you, it's R-rated for extremely brutal. It's a crime mystery kind of thing. He gets a letter in the very beginning, and the, the letter sets him off on a path of getting revenge on people who have wronged him or wronged his loved ones. So, no, I can't show you that. Um, well, no, that'll give some of the story away, because you don't want. I don't want to give some of the story away. Um but the art's really done well. The coloring is done really well. And I highly recommend it. As long as you know, it is brutal. Extremely violent. Um, but that didn't keep me from really enjoying it. I It was an enjoyable read. I really dug it. And I'm just leaving you with that one caveat. That it is an extremely brutal. Um, big man plans. He's a little person out for revenge. And I don't want to spoil it for you, but he gets his revenge. So that's it for this edition of Root Beer Reviews. Thank you for tuning in. It turns out that hitting the like button does something important. So please like this video if you can. Please subscribe. Uh, if you leave comments, I will uh, respond to them all. I love all you guys out there. I appreciate all of you. And peace and love. Peace and love.